Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jacob back again with another GTA Online modding video and today I'm going to be having a quick discussion of whether or not you should or shouldn't mod GTA Online PC in 2020. But before I get into the five reasons, I would just like to tell you guys that usually I do entertaining type videos on this channel. I do have a series called Modder Life where I do take these mods online and do some trolling and do some funny stuff with it. Uh, right now in the background you're seeing just some doomsday gameplay. This isn't an actual video or anything that I edited it's just raw gameplay so uh if you guys are interested in some entertaining GTA funny content that's usually what I do here on the channel but I decided to make a top five video because sometimes you know it's just really repetitive making uh videos uh just funny content like that and sometimes I need a break from it so that's why you guys are seeing this video today but yeah without further ado if you guys do end up enjoying this video please remember to drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications and uh yeah without further ado let's get right into it so my number one reason why you should mod, it's pretty obvious and it's been getting pretty much worse and worse throughout the life of GTA Online and it is the grind. Now if you want to skip that grind, of course you can just plop a mod menu into your game. I would highly suggest not using a free menu, I use a paid menu, Impulse VIP. It's what I use in all my episodes of Modern Life, well 95% of them. And, you know, Impulse VIP has really good recovery options that give you money and RP any level you want and pretty much any amount of money you want. Not that you need billions and billions of dollars, but you could give yourself billions and billions of dollars and it will work. Now, recently, recoveries have been disabled for the Impulse VIP and some other menus because there has been a quote-unquote ban wave going around, which really means they just upgrade their anti-cheat Rockstar and, and, you know, just pretty much upgrade their security. So what menus, menus will usually do is just pretty much, um, you know, tweak a little bit of the recovery service i don't really know how it works that way but they'll fix the recovery service and sometimes it takes time and a lot of testing just to make sure it's not detectable and that people are getting banned from it because if you're getting banned from a menu that's known for their money drops and stuff like that then it's not gonna go anywhere and it'll just crash and burn so yeah overall if you really want that first supercar that you really want and you don't want to grind three four or five million dollars for it, you want to buy an oppressor right off the right off the bat you know and you have grinded before with, let's say on ps4 i grinded on ps4 i'm over like 450 something on ps4 i've played plenty 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 on ps4 so when i came to pc i didn't want to <laughs> grind for all that again and there's some other reasons why i will uh say later in the video of other reasons why you know on pc it is a very bad experience for a new player so that's why i think you should just get a mom and you just have fun with it give yourself all the money and rp in the world and you really won't have to worry about grinding especially if you've already been through the grind before number two is kind of picking up where i left off saying you know the pc is a very bad gta online experience because um like myself there is a lot of other modders and i'm not trying to say this is be hypocritical or anything but modders can be dicks and uh if you get a mod menu you can use the protections whether you get legitimate money or not you can use the protections to protect yourself from modders whether they're um, you know killing you with god mode or whatever you can just throw on god mode join a new session and it'll be done with or you can just turn on protection so if they try to cage you they will be kicked from the lobby yada 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 there's plenty of protections like impulse vip that i use where if anyone tries to let's say um kick me out of the lobby or report me they will instantly be kicked now i use this menu a little bit trolling reasons so i have a reason to be kicked and you know reported but uh sometimes when other modders are just being dickheads and they just want to kick other people off for fun because they're doing supplies or whatever if someone's trying to even grief your supplies not even a modder just some random dickhead you can throw on those protections get your supply done run done and then you know you don't have to worry about it so i mean yeah number two overall is pretty much protecting yourself from dickheads <laughs> yeah number three also kind of piggybacks on the recent idea number two um modders will ruin this game for you as a new player whether or not they're good or bad modder a good modder may give you a money drop and may get yourself banned i've had comments and uh, messages on discord hey a modder dropped me some money and i am now suspended for 30 days or i'm permanently banned you know why can't rockstar just take the money out of my account the modder was being nice or the modder was being a dick and dropping me money not all menus have a safety feature you know with their money drops and whether you drop it with your friends or to your friends or your friends drop it for you you could get banned getting a money drop or you know giving a money drop 
And not even that, like I said before, if there's a modder griefing you and you're level 12 and you just got your first, let's say, um, document forgery business, they will relentlessly kill you over and over and over again just for fun because they just think that's a cool thing to do. I'm not going to say I haven't done it because I have been guilty of doing it. Not that I think it's a super bad thing and I've been exposed or whatever, but I have done it before and I really don't feel good afterwards. <laughs> and, you know, I remember back in the day, 2013, 2014, when I was first picking up the game, if I would have had a modder mess with me all the time, I probably would have never played this game again. And now in 2020, there's plenty of modders on PC and even sometimes console that can just be running around messing up everyone's game experience for very first time players so like i said before if you do want to go through the grind and get yourself legitimate money you still can now you don't have to use the recovery system and drop yourself money or rp or get every gun or unlock every car or unlock this unlock that you can simply use your mod menu just to protect yourself from modders and or dickhead tryhards that are just killing people for fun and you know just with your protections you can protect yourself from them and you won't really have an issue with that and then you can have more of a legitimate game experience but that doesn't still doesn't help from people dropping you money and you know you can get banned and stuff from that way and you know they can crash your game even get your ip with the impulse vip you can get anyone's ip with a click of a button i have it off i've never gotten anyone's ip or whatever so i mean even if you're playing with another modder they can get your ip but you know with impulse vip for example you can spoof your ip so they cannot get it and number four on this list is to help others one of my favorite things to do is just hop into a random mission yesterday's video in fact was me helping some random little 20 level 28 uh with his casino missions because they they are pretty tough some of them towards the end do get pretty tough especially for a low level the gta online's ai can be very very aim body and very glitchy and can be absolute douchebags to you sometimes even worse than the try hard douchebags that try and kill you in free roam um people can have a lot of trouble with that whether it's your friend whether it's some random person a lot but you can go out and turn on god mode or give them god mode um if they're you know if they're okay with that you won't get banned i don't think for giving someone god mode but if you do want to help your friends out or something like that you can turn on god mode to help them through their missions or heist setups or heists and you know in general and just pretty much mow down everyone like i did in my last video or just kill all peds or do something like that it can help out and uh, you know give you that warm fuzzy feeling inside that not a lot of gta online players even know about you know some of these modders and tryhards they've never helped anyone out in their life um i never really helped anyone out until i started modding because uh, mostly when i grinded on ps4 i did it pretty much all by myself <laughs> got pretty much all my money by myself the only time i'd get friends is for doing big sale missions so helping out someone you know gives you that warm little fuzzy feeling inside and makes you feel good about yourself at the end of the day and you know it's a good use for the menu it can uh, you know promote non-toxicity within the gta community even though this gta community is completely completely toxic i mean it, it is terrible nowadays but that's why you should mod and definitely protect yourself from these people and help out others and number five on the list is probably the most important um it's just having fun with the mod menu you can have a hell of a lot of fun impulse vip for example has a lot of fun weapon options a rapid fire has a uh, wormhole gun where you can teleport from one side of the other to the map kind of like portal or portal 2 kind of like how that gun works there's a lot of fun options on a lot of these menus that can you know get you a lot of fun playing time if you've played the game a lot like me and you <laughs> you know you're dying for a new experience a new like update or something you know you can update your own game and give yourself a mod menu have some fun with some of these mods whether you're griefing people or showing people i don't really care as long as you're just having fun with it I mean, it can be a lot of fun. Now, if you have fun and if you get your sick kicks out of trolling and griefing people with God mode, uh, you're kind of a weirdo. But um, hey, I mean, if that's your thing, that's your thing. I, I find uh, a lot of the weapon mods and weapon options are probably my favorite. You can also like make your cars God mode and put um, special parts on a car that wouldn't typically be on the car like a different spoiler like on a random pickup truck and stuff like that you put ramps on the pickup trucks you can uh, you know like i said make a phantom wedge for an example fly in phantom wedge flying in like sport mode if you guys know what i'm talking about sport mode from modern life um that is a hell of a lot of fun it can make your experience gta online just that much better and a lot more fun 
But in conclusion, I think you guys in 2020 should mod, whether it's for your illegitimate money or, um, you know, griefing reasons, or if it's just to protect yourself and still get legitimate money or help out friends or help out others or whatever. I think it's a very fun thing that you guys should do now in 2020. The game is seven years old, so even if you are an old player that got the game when it first came out back in 2013 if you played all seven years it could be a very fun new experience for you or if you're a new player you can just help protect yourself and your friends and uh you know get yourself some money in rp so you can experience these things that cost so much so much money um i've never really had a problem with grinding but to do it all over again i would not like to do that and that's why um you know i mod and i just have fun with my friends and uh you know just screw around trolling other players i don't i try and stay away from doing majorly griefy things but overall i think it's a really fun thing to do and i think you guys should do it too but yeah that's uh really it for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy um please remember to drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications check out the other uh episodes of model life uh, i'll leave that in my channel uh model life series i've almost posted i think like 80 model lives now it's, i think my recent one was just number 78 so yeah we're getting close to 100 so if you want to binge watch something here in quarantine um and give you give you some model life to watch and i bet you guys won't be disappointed it's pretty funny shit within those uh within those videos it's a whole lot of fun too and you guys can do the same um maybe depending on the menu you get you guys can probably do the same but uh yeah thank you guys for watching press one if you stayed till the complete end of the video and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace yeah 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 etc etc swing on the track like i'm federal look i'm already ahead of you you should accept that i'm better bro i ain't come weak with this shit since my ex-girlfriend deborah since molly cyrus was handled my 